This week on Most Cowbell, I'm taking you on a road trip to upstate New York. Land of my youth. I'm going to get inducted into the Thousand Islands Arts Hall of Fame. And I will perform as part of the ceremony with the high school chorus and band. I'm driving in my car. I'm driving in my Porsche Cayenne. Probably the best car I've ever had. I don't know. What's the best? The top five cars? Let's see. Uh, my Honda Accord. My ha other Honda Accord. Maybe my Barracuda. This car. Definitely. This is number one. Is that there's only four I don't know. maybe that first Chrysler town and country just because it was so convenient and luxurious the second one was a lemon anyway this is my first uh, Porsche Cayenne Cayenne the type of pepper Cayenne Porsche a hot car it is stylish. I love the color of this car. I think I, I really do love the color. It's the same color as my father's brand new Chevrolet that we got when we moved to Greece in 1953. It's probably what was it? It was my father's first new car and maybe even his only new car. I don't I don't think he was into buying new cars that much, but he got the government job. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they gave him the car. I never thought to ask him if he bought it or why he didn't bring it back to the United States. <laughs> when we came back, I first started driving when I was nine years old. Uh, it was not typical thing. I I was driving a tractor, actually. It was a little tiny international harvester tractor. It was, it was cute. Anyway, I got to, to drive that when I was nine. I didn't drive it very much. It mostly, my dad had me plowing the fields, which was a fairly tedious job for anybody but a nine-year-old. For me, that was just an amazing responsibility that I had to make these straight lines and then everyone had to be exactly just six inches off the one before. Flipping over the dirt, that's what you do with the plow. That's how I started driving when I was nine. It was, a tractor. It was only a couple years later and I, I, I did a good job with the tractor, I think, because uh, two years later, my parents let me drive. They actually gave it to me. They gave me my mother's 1937 Chevy. It's a 21-year-old car. And we used to drive. That was a crazy thing. I think that maybe they, they didn't have any idea how dangerous that was for us. But we used to drive that thing all over the all, all through the woods. We crashed through trees and bushes. And, and, uh, 1937 Chevy had running boards. Like the, the mafia guys would jump on the running boards after they, they robbed the bank and they would all hang onto the car as they sped away. Yeah, that's what we did. We pretended we were like that. Almost tore our arms off too. We had to really go pretty slow if somebody wanted to jump on. Eventually, we destroyed the car. Uh, the 
brakes started not working so well. So we figured that maybe the brake fluid had leaked out. We opened up the place that where you put in the brake fluid and we looked at it and it looked just like oil. We said, well, maybe we can just put oil in there. So we put oil in the brakes. That was the end of the brakes. Even after we drained it all out, we tried to clean out the, the brake line, it was just destroyed. It's just oil everywhere and the brakes just didn't work at all. Imagine, what were we thinking? But it looked like oil. Oh well, okay, then I'm gonna pass you. Listen to this. That's the sound of a Porsche, folks. Okay, up to 95 and I must Put on the brakes because there is a car right there. And now here it is only, what, 30 miles away? And the sun is out. It's turned into a beautiful day. This is why, this is why I love to travel you feel you're all in one mood and then your mood can change just like that just just like the weather all right so I'm going pretty fast now 92 the traffic is moving well there's not a whole lot of it we got Bon Jovi on the radio blue sky Life is good. Here's another driving around, driving down the road thought that I have. The speed limit is 65. I'm driving 73. I've got my cruise control at 73. I like it better than 65. 73 is a prime number. Why do I like prime numbers? I don't know. What? I don't know. There's something special about prime numbers. I like them. Okay, so this is the amazing Thousand Islands Bridge. I don't know what you can see from behind me, but it is quite an amazing suspension bridge. It is fairly narrow, and you have a lot of trucks on here, so the trucks, there can only be one truck that goes over the bridge at a time. They have to space themselves out. This this road right here is a dirt road. I, I guess you can see in the back there, you can see the dirt. This is Saskis Drive. I'm going to back in. There it is right here. Well, that's it. That's my road trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Coming on me on my ride. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my blog. And if you would like to comment, leave comments, comment section below. Have a great week. See, see you next week.